Hey guys, and welcome back to Top Tire Sports. I'm Spencer Miller, and it's Monday, so you know we're going to be talking some baseball news. To get things off to a bit of a somber note, this past week news arose that Johannes Cespedes had injured himself at his ranch in Florida. The Mets outfielder had yet to record any playing time this year while working back from a previous injury, and this new one ensures that he will be out for the remainder of the season. The Cespedes move hasn't panned out for the Mets of late. In 2016, Cespedes finished 8th in MVP voting, but has since gone on to only play in 119 games for the Mets since 2017. Justin Verlander continued his incredible season by taking a no-hitter into the 7th inning this past week. The 36-year-old already has two under his belt in his career. Verlander has found the fountain of youth this year. So far, he is 8-1 with a 2.24 ERA. He has also recorded 89 punch-outs and 72 and a third innings pitched while walking only 17 batters. Congratulations to Zach Granke, who notched career strikeout 2,500. It puts him in rarefied air, as there are only four other current pitchers who have reached this feat. CC Sabathia, Justin Verlander, Max Scherzer, and Felix Hernandez are the only other current pitchers to have done so. A bit of irony happened in New York as the Mets won on a hustle play by Ahmed Rosario days after Robinson Cano received criticism for not hustling himself. The Mets have been marred by injuries, including the Cespedes one we just talked about, this entire season and have had some weird storylines thus far, and it only gets weirder because in a bit of spectacular and magical news, Mets outfielder Rajay Davis got a call up from AAA and took a $243 Uber to get to the game on time. Not only did he make it, but he also then hit a three-run home run in his first plate appearance to help the Mets to a 6-1 to victory. Earlier today, it was announced that the Mets had designated our hero for assignment. The White Sox turned an incredible triple play when Jake Marisnik of the Astros hit a hard shot at Yohan Makata that pulled him perfectly to the bag. The Sox went around the horn for the impressive feat. When the Dodgers and Rays matched up this past week, the Rays decided to take advantage of a shift the Dodgers had put on by dropping down a bunt. Dodgers pitcher Rich Hill showed us he may not be all that big of a fan of defensive shifts, having this to say after the base hit. <clears throat> End quote. Fuck, fuck, fuck. God damn it. Fucking shit. The whole fucking left side is fucking fully wide open. Now it's time to play a round of Would You Rather Baseball Edition. This week's question, would you rather have Gleybar Torres against the Orioles or Christian Yelich against the St. Louis Cardinals? For some perspective, Torres has mashed 10 of his 12 home runs this year against the Orioles. He's only driven in 13 RBIs, but he has been brought to the plate by his teammates 20 times, or 10 times by himself. And he's batting a robust 465. This mimics the damage that Yelich was doing to the Cardinals early on in the season. In 10 games, Yetlich is batting 387 with 8 home runs and 9 RBI, 19 RBIs. Excuse me. Uh, if I could give some advice to the Orioles and the Cardinals, it would be to stop pitching to these guys. Dodger pitcher Hinjin Ryu had his scoreless inning streak end after 32 consecutive innings without giving up a run. Ryu was able to compile this feat over 5 starts before allowing a run in the second inning against the Pittsburgh Pirates. Austin Riley of the Braves continues to swing a hot bat. He's now compiled over 40 at-bats at the Major League level and has five home runs already under his belt while boasting a 341 average. He's just another young, successful player that the Braves have been able to add to their Major League roster. The Twins are having one heck of a season and reached an impressive feat this past week when they hit their 100th home run in just their 50th game of the season. I'm no mathematician, but this puts them on pace to hit roughly over 300 home runs this year. In some injury news, Mariners fans have reason to rejoice as they welcome Kyle Seeger back from the injured list. While Seeger is outdone by his brother Corey on the Dodgers, he's still a solid major league hitter and will be a welcomed addition back into the lineup. On the other end of injuries, Astros fans and Brett Boyle have reason to be upset after George Springer landed on the 10-day IL with a hamstring injury. Hopefully he doesn't miss too much time, given the year he was put in together. Last bit of news from the week, Nolan Arenado hit home run number 200. There's little doubt that he isn't already one of the best players in baseball, and his, and his continued consistency and now milestones are only helping to prove it. Congrats to Josh Naylor, Kevin Biggio, and Mitch Keller on being promoted to the majors this past week. Naylor, a first base outfield prospect for the Padres, carried a 299 average and 10 homers to the majors with him. Biggio, a top prospect of the Blue Jays and son of Hall of Famer 
Craig Biggio, is batting 306 with a 947 on base plus slugging percentage, along with six home runs at the AAA level. He joins Vlad Guerrero Jr., making history as the first two sons of former Major League players to play together in the Majors. Biggio also got to work rather quick, notching not only his first career hit, but also his first career home run yesterday. Lastly, Keller of the Pirates has been an interesting topic of late. While the Pirates have used the opener tactic, Keller has shown an ability to pitch at the AAA level, leading many to believe he deserved a shot at the Major League rotation. In roughly 100 AAA innings, Keller owns a 4.17 ERA, but is striking batters out at an impressive rate, notching 10.2 strikeouts per nine innings. Cody Bellinger continues to lead the league in batting average, though he has finally dropped below the 400 mark. He's still hitting 391. Yelich was the first to reach 20 home runs and currently, or still, leads the league in home runs. Bellinger has taken control of the RBI race, putting him three home runs away from controlling all three of our Triple Crown uh, stats. He currently has 48 RBIs, which is one ahead of Josh Bell, the previous leader. On the pitching side, Hinjin Ryu stands alone as the only pitcher with an ERA under two. He currently is sitting at an incredible 1.65, Domingo Herman still leads the majors in wins, now with nine, and Garrett Cole holds a slight lead in strikeouts, being the first to hit the 100 mark this year. Kirby Yates is still perfect on the year, converting all 20 of his save opportunities. Last but not least, standings. The Yankees, Twins, and Astros currently lead their divisions, with the Twins boasting baseball's best record now. In the NL, the Phillies and Cubs hold slim leads over their divisions, while the Dodgers continue to distance themselves in the West. That'll do it for baseball this week. Thanks for tuning in to Top Tire Sports. Leave a like, comment, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I will see you guys tomorrow to talk about basketball.